explain the theory of fluorescence and phosphorescence. As the intensity of fluorescence depend on the intensity of radiation absorbed, fluorescence F is proportional to intensity absorbed. Therefore, F is equals to K I absorbed, where K is the proportionality constant. Also, I absorbed is equals to initial intensity of the light minus intensity of transmitted light. Therefore, F is equals to K I zero by I T. This is equation number one. According to Beer Lambert's law, the absorbance A of the solution is given by log of I zero by I T is equals to absorbance A is equals to epsilon C L, where I zero is the intensity of incident radiation, I T intensity of transmitted radiation, epsilon is molar absorptivity, C is the molar concentration of the solution, and L is the length of the solution. Let's inverse the ratio inside the log. So it becomes log of I T by I zero is equals to minus A. Therefore, I T by I zero is equals to ten to the power minus A, and I T is equals to I zero into ten to the power minus A, which can also be written as I T is equals to I zero e to the power minus two point three not three A. On substituting this in equation number one, we get F is equals to K I zero minus I zero e to the power minus two point three not three A, which is equals to K I zero one minus e power two minus two point three not three A. Now, e to the power minus two point three not three A can be expanded as a factorial. Therefore, the equation becomes F is equals to K I zero one minus in the bracket. 1 minus minus 2.303a 1 factorial minus minus 2.303a power to 2 2 factorial minus minus 2.303a power to 3 3 factorial and it goes on. As the value of a is very small, the power factors can be neglected. So the equation becomes f is equals to k i zero 1 minus in the bracket 1 minus minus 2.303a One factorial, which is k i zero one minus one plus two point three not three a, or k i zero is equals to two point three not three a. Therefore, f is equals to two point three not three k i zero a, or it can also be written as f is equals to two point three not three k i zero epsilon c l. As all other parameters like k, i zero, epsilon, and l are constant, therefore we can say f is proportional to concentration C. Similarly, we can also derive the relation phosphorescence is proportional to concentration C. It means intensity of fluorescence is directly proportional to concentration. Thus, there is direct relation between intensity of the fluorescence and phosphorescence with the concentration. This relation is strictly applicable to dilute solutions. In both these cases, if we plot a graph of fluorescence or phosphorescence versus concentration, the graph is a straight line passing through the origin. But at high concentration, there is deviation. It is due to dissociation or association of the absorbing molecule or chemical reaction between absorbing substance with the solvent. From this curve, we can easily find out the concentration of unknown solution. Means quantitative analysis is possible.